few friends of mine told me about tech in 2021. I decided to apply. I thought it was a great opportunity to showcase my choreography and a reason to create a, a video for my work. Fast forward, I get a video call from David Holberg where he announced to me that I won the competition. Um, it was a surprise. I didn't know it was getting announced at that time and that day. I was driving to, to work and yeah, and it all, all happened then. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, I found out the news and was very excited. Um, and that followed up with me working with the Australian Ballet today on this great collaboration that, that just finished a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I got asked to do a Body Turk digital. I was really excited because I find doing video dance work a, uh, a really interesting process and a fun process, very different to creating live performance. Once I found out that I was doing a video work, I started thinking about what that could be with a collaboration with ballet dancers, which I have never thought of or done. So it was really uh, an exciting, um, challenging kind of idea to, 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 to work with and to puzzle together. The piece is called Refunction, and it's about taking a purpose as a suggestion and not an instruction.
as soon as I met the dancers and got to chat to them in the space and, and kind of, you know, work with a few tasks, it came clear what, what the vision is and, and what the work can be. That's based on their personality, the way we're communicating, um, the, you know, the, the obvious differences in the way they train, they rehearse, um, they perform. It really inspired me to, to try something I've, you know, I'm personally not capable of. And I think, I think it flowed a lot smoother than, you know, you would, anyone would expect a street dancer to be collaborating with a ballet dancer because, you know, there's, there's a contrast, but there's also a familiarity, which is that we're all young, we're all uh, human, we, we, like, we like similar things. Even though we dance differently, it doesn't mean that all the things are different. So I think it was, it was refreshing to see the, the process be so fluid and, and so easy. I used the chair as a, a core, as a, as a magnet to, to the dancers and a way to represent something that's familiar, but also not so familiar by the way it's shaped, by the way it's moved around, it's tilted, it becomes other. So I wanted to give a, a feeling of, you know, this feels like, ah, oh, it's a chair, people sit on it, but then the feeling of, oh, that doesn't look like a chair anymore. It's a person or it's a table or... Throughout the piece, they're playing with the chair. There's more ideas with the chair, more experimentation. These characters get developed with the chair, like Ben, who's a teacher chair, and um, Samara, who's a chair blob, likes to wiggle around. So these kind of characters are established to, to represent that, that the chair can be into, into different forms. It can, it can delve into that world, but it can also be a chair. I like jumping around disciplines. I, I am a dancer, I am a choreographer, but I'm also a filmmaker, graphic designer, whatever I can get my hands on because I have a lot of interests. I'm, I'm very curious. So I try to focus on the concept first and then figure out how to do it later. So problem solving is really important in, in that process because sometimes I don't know what to do but I will know what to do when we start doing it so in, in the a, a mentor of mine used to always say we'll know in the doing you know it might seem confusing when you think about it but as soon as you start moving or start setting up the camera or you, you know you put the light on you'll be like oh hang on no nah, that's not what we want or that is what we want because you're seeing it you know it's I think having having a specific taste or a specific idea of what you want the end product to be helps in those decisions. They're like yes to that, no to that. And I think sometimes that could only happen on the day. If you are planning everything 100%, then you're creating something that you're used to or you've created before. Because how else did you know that that was gonna happen? You know, there's no way of us knowing, but if you wanna create something that you never thought you wanted, I think that's where the, the gold is. And, and, and today in the shoot, there were some things that I didn't know that I wanted that we captured. And I really appreciate that everyone was willing to, to go with that. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for a more fluid team.